Let's take a look at this problem. We got 7 over 6 plus square root of 3. Now the problem here is we can't have a radical in the denominator. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So we got 6 square root of 3. Now what a conjugate is, is your first parts are the same. See how this is 6 and this is 6? And your last parts are the same. See how this is square root of 3 and this is square root of 3? But the sign in the middle is different. This is positive, this is minus. Now whatever we multiply by the bottom, we have to multiply by the top. So up on top, we got 7 times 6 minus square root of 3. Now a nice part about conjugates is, is all you have to do is multiply your first parts together and your last parts. So 6 times 6, and then square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. First parts and last parts. Well up on top, I'm going to use the distributive property. I'm going to take 7 times 6 and 7 times square root of 3. So that gives us, um, I'll go ahead and write it out, 7 times 6 and 7 times negative square root of 3. Down below, 6 times 6 is 36, positive times a negative is negative, and square root of 3 times square root of 3 gives us 3. Well, 7 times 6 is 42, positive times a negative is negative, so that's minus 7 square root of 3 over 36 minus uh, 3 is 33. And that's our answer.